Well, good evening, folks. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. It's lovely to see you again and thank you for popping over just to have a nosy and see what I picked up for the family food shop this week. And I hope you have had a brilliant week and doing good as well. So we've just come back to Sainsbury's because we really didn't need that much. So that's why I went to Sainsbury's because I really didn't need that much. And we are trying to get through that massive butcher's box that we were sent as well. So, yeah. £57.86p and we are away to Wales for a few days next week as well so we're trying to get through what we've already got there and we have quite a lot of stuff still there as well but I will run you through what I got if you're new and it's your first time here my name is Cheryl we are a family of four from the west coast of Scotland and if you do like these kinds of videos why not consider subscribing just before you leave so the first thing, as usual, were our dairy bits and bobs. So I got some grated parmesan and also a grated four cheese blend. We're going to be doing mushroom and chicken risotto. So I needed the parmesan for that. Also picked up a wee pot of double cream. I like to add that to sauces and things, especially cheese sauces. Then for the bread maker, I got this white bread flour and I was nearly out of plain flour as well. So I got a plain flour and this is the one I like to get if I can get it. And then Mr. What's for Tea's trifles. He usually goes for the strawberry or the raspberry. So he's got the strawberry ones this week. And then some garlic bread. These are quite expensive, you know, for the size of them, but they are delicious and they're really moist with all that olive oil that they put on there. Some flat leaf parsley, again, for the risotto and some fresh thyme as well. And a wee garlic bulb. All of these things are for the risotto. And then a wee swede. I think we're going to be having mince and tatties and swede. Also for the chicken and mushroom risotto are these large flat mushrooms. And I'll just dice these and throw them in as well. It's going to be my first time making risotto from scratch. You know, I have had it during you know, throughout the years, but I've never actually made it myself from scratch. Scratch, so this is going to be interesting. These wee mini jacket potatoes I thought looked quite nice, so I thought I'd pick those up. I could probably do those myself really easily, but you know when you see them and you think, oh yeah, that looks like a good idea. The chicken for the chicken risotto, and then some of these frozen jackets for the freezer. A wee bottle of white wine, again, this is for the risotto. I think most of this shopping is for the risotto. There's about a million and one ingredients in it, but it's going to be fab. And then a five pack of fair trade bananas and those are only what 71p or something i always think these things are such good value and then some weetabix now i had to laugh at this because i've got a pair of sandals which <laughs> we call we call them my weetabix sandals and i'll just show you there that's my sandals there and don't they look like weetabix yeah i always laugh at those very comfy though and uh, yeah nice with dresses and things anyway moving on I was also out of brown sauce and this is my favourite brown sauce. It's just like the chip shop and it's only a pound. Massive big bottle of mayonnaise and also got a bottle of ketchup as well. And I didn't realise this one was as small, but there you go. We don't go through a lot of ketchup anyway. I, I generally use this for recipes. I can't think of anything else other than burgers and hot dogs that I use that for. A couple of packs of snacks for Jasper. These are the ones that he gets. And then some Errol Grey tea bags. And I've forgotten how expensive these actually were, but there are a hundred tea bags in there. And then some hot chocolate. We use this with our Velvetizer hot chocolate machine. And then a six pack of Golden Wonder salted crisps. This is the rice for the risotto, obviously. It says it in the box. And then a couple of packs of this Pearson Ding Tilda Basmati rice. This stuff is lovely. Comes out perfect every time. And then I'd run out of dry shampoo and deodorant as well. A bag of cat litter for Jasper for his wee litter tree. And then this bottled water is only 25 pence. You know, and it's two litres and it's really nice. I like to pop that into the fridge. So that was everything that we got. Like I said, not the biggest shop in the world. But as I also said, we obviously don't need all that much. And we are trying to 
work through that box that we were very generously sent from that butcher in Dundee. And if you haven't watched that video, highly recommended you go and give that one a wee watch as well. Just before I leave you, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those who share the videos, you know, it's all very much appreciated. And I will catch you during the week for another wee shopping, unbagging, recipe, degusta box unboxing or even on Sunday for meals of the week. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, I'm What's For Tea 3 over there. And it would be lovely to see you because obviously I post pictures and videos and things that don't make it over here to YouTube. But whenever you decide to join me again, remember to have a wonderful rest of your week. Look after yourself and I'll catch you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.